Over 800 years ago, the great Mongol warrior Genghis Khan initiated warfare on horseback and led his cavalry in conquering half of the world. It is believed that without the horse, Genghis Khan would never have become such a conqueror. While battles on horseback are now part of history, horses still hold significance in lands of grass and blue skies. There are around three million Mongolians who consider themselves descendants of Genghis Khan, and they have about three million horses. For Mongolians, horses play various roles in life, from pets, companions and transport, to property, work animals, musical instruments, food and much more. It is said that even before Mongolian children can walk, they are placed on horseback by their parents. With horse riding ingrained in their way of life, horse racing has evolved into the nation's most beloved sport. Annually, around 400 horse races take place across the country, with over 10,000 Mongolian children competing. Among these participants, the youngest is just seven years old. During these races, children fall off their horses, leading to everything from minor injuries to fatalities. While introducing toddlers to horse riding is a cultural norm, it raises questions about the appropriateness of seven-year-olds engaging in equestrian competitions. This in turn prompts consideration of potential violations of children's rights. Summer in Mongolia is eagerly awaited by everyone. After the sub-zero temperatures and white snow blankets of winter, summer brings lush green grasslands, bright sunshine and a vividly clear azure sky. There is an annual festival known as Nadam, an ancient summer tradition that dates back several centuries. During this event, Mongolians come together to compete in various traditional skills like archery, wrestling and horse riding. Today, the festival has transformed into a national day of celebration and commemoration of Mongolia's liberation from Chinese rule in 1921. It features diverse performances, food, merchandise stalls and a plethora of recreational activities. One of its highlights, undoubtedly, is the horse racing. Amidst the festive and exuberant atmosphere, one sight that stands out is young children riding horseback, racing at their maximum speed over distances of more than 10 kilometers. Even though it is rooted in ancient traditions and ingrained into their lives, the sight of children under 10 racing on horses at such high speeds does raise questions for many about its appropriateness. We visited rural Mongolia to explore the way of life and the deep bond between humans and horses before addressing this question. Not far from the capital city Ulaanbaatar, the expansive steppe comes into view. The road cuts through the middle of the vast landscape flanked by traditional white gurs, a circular domed tent-like dwelling. Here there are no signposts or kilometer markers, as locals are guided by landmarks. If lost, one can simply stop and ask at the nearest gur, as everyone here knows everyone else. After only one stop, we finally arrived at our destination, two adjacent gurs. One serves as a kitchen, while the other provides accommodation. The gur designated for lodging is adorned with horse racing awards. It is a testament to the strong bond and horsemanship ingrained in their lineage. 67-year-old Badam Namsrai Mojin, with a smile on her face, shares her stories with us. <laughs> Ит 
таасаа өмнө л бөөр хэрэгэлж яасан тэгэл Чингисхан дандаа морьтой байлтай нь тэгэл морьорл бүх юм морьор залгуулдаг байсан эс морьгу яг морьчин унаал яхад их хурдан ажил бөгнүүлж өгдөг штэ унааж явахад доор нь бөгнүүлээж ирнэ But Amnam Sarai tells us that she has lived with horses her entire life. Her family have been horse trainers for three generations. Хамгийн монголчуудын хамгийн дээдэлт гэн адуу. Тэгээ морио монголчууд ян зай хамгийн их дээдэл нь морьндөө хайртай. Монголчуудын одоо нэг өсний далва юу гэсэн үг юм. Монголчууд ч одоо моргүй бол яахгүй морьндөө хайртай морио адуугаа хамгийн дээдэлтэй. Since the first time she got on a horse at the age of five to now, at the age of 67, this veteran still rides and tends to the family's livestock on a regular basis. So we asked her to showcase her horse riding skills. Mongolian horses are raised freely, allowed to graze freely on the grasslands. This sometimes leads to the horses becoming stubborn not always obeying their owners. Before the cherished horse would allow her to ride, it created quite a bit of chaos. During summer, which coincides with the school break, this girl is bustling with activity, as the grandchildren, who've moved away to the city, return to experience life in the open fields with their grandmother. The daily routine at the Gur involves waking up early to train the horses. The training continues until the sun gets too hot for both the people and the horses. Training resumes again in the late afternoon and into the evening, and this goes on every day. During the break, Madame Namsrai made traditional Mongolian stir-fried noodles for everyone to enjoy as lunch, along with milk tea, the Mongolian's standard beverage. As the heat of the sun eases in the afternoon, it's time to take the horses out for another training session. If you want to see more great content from all over the world, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you. The main trainer for the family is grandmother's youngest son, Otgenbald. What is the most important thing, like, to know, like, to train a good, like, to, to be good at training horses? Otgenbald used to be a jockey, but at 29 he's too big for that now. The role of jockey has now passed to his 11-year-old nephew, Okia Bazan. Bazan is the most experienced racer in the family, and he's preparing to compete at the village level in the Nadam festival. We followed Bazan and Otgon Bold into the grassy fields for training. The training field has to be a flat and grassy area without holes or tracks, allowing the horses to run at high speeds comfortably. Mongolian horses are not tall, but they have strong hind legs and are known for their endurance and stamina. They can run 10 kilometers without stopping. The races are categorized by horse age, ranging from two-year-olds to five-year-olds and riders aged seven to 12 years. The race distances vary from 10 to 30 kilometers. Due to the distance and the size of the horse, the weight of the jockeys is set between 25 and 35 kilograms. The jockeys are mostly children as only they weigh within that range. It's not surprising that each racer is a small child weighing no more than 35 kilograms 
and accidents during the races are common. This brings up the yearly debate about whether it is safe for children to participate in horse racing. In the absence of a conclusive decision, the children continue to race. Today, Bazan is determined to race in two categories, so he has to practice twice. Once on the horse, Bazan transforms from a shy young boy to someone else entirely. He focuses straight ahead, exuding confidence and the spirit of a young jockey. His right hand nudges the horse to go faster. The motorcycle, initially bought by Bazan, acts as a motivator pushing the horse to go faster, especially the younger horses which aren't familiar with the field. Today, Bazan's training goes smoothly, but it doesn't always. Many children fall off their horses and get injured during practice and races. Not to mention that some adults allow children under seven years old to race, which is against the rules. Тэрүүлүүхээ <laughs> Even though young Mongolian children start riding horses almost at the same time as learning to walk, as a coach and former horse racer, Otgon Bald disagrees with allowing children under seven to participate. He recognizes the dangers of the competition too. <laughs> зам харгуй нөгөө орчны хязгаарлалт орчноос болж байгаа. Тэгээ гурав бид нэр юуга одоо юу гэдэг үр хөвгтөдөө бас хамгаалт талаасаа бас сайн өндөр аль аль талаас анхаарах хэрэгтэй байхгүй тий. Бүрэн сайхан хамгаалтын кас хоц өмсүүлэх хэвээр хоёр даатгалын бүрэн хийлэх хэвээр гурав төрт нь бит нэвтүүхэн дамаа зум бол бас арайд ирч өвлийн өдрөлд энэ хүмүүсүүд уралдаад байгаа нь тэр талаасаа бол таагүй зүйл тий. In the past year, over 10,000 children participated in nearly 400 horse races across the country. There were over 600 falls from horses, 169 injuries and two fatalities. The controversy revolves around whether the participatory age for children is too low. This is why they're trying to enact laws to increase the minimum age for horse racing from 7 to 10 years old. They're also considering a ban on children participating in races during the winter and autumn seasons due to the harsh weather and more hazardous tracks compared to those in the warmer months. During winter, falling from a horse onto hard ground poses a greater risk than falling onto grass-covered ground in summer. We journeyed back to meet Otgon Bold's family once again during the village's major practice day. Though this was a village level practice, the atmosphere was bustling. The sight of people of all ages and genders riding horses instead of using vehicles is remarkable. Little children were riding horses, their small hands gripping the reins with a sense of determination. It's evident that horse riding is an intrinsic part of the lives of the Mongolian people. Today, young Bazan dressed safely, is smiling brightly, and was fully prepared for the competition. Even though Mongolians and their horses are seen as a pair, we still wonder whether this 11-year-old kid feels any fear while galloping at speed. Why, why, 
Where man or August and Nampat or Slater? Add one. Susque. Murro on Cole Sunjixa. Murro is a Jack that isn't so tallish. For Mongolians, horse riding isn't about control or ownership, but about connection and being at one with the horse. Today's training was divided into rounds similar to actual races. Participants, along with their horses, would walk out about 25 kilometers along the racetrack to warm up before they run back. During the races at the Central Arena, there were traditional Mongolian wrestling matches. This is another national sport that also takes place during the Nadam festival. When it's time for the test, the coach went over the key techniques with Bazan again. He has to crouch low to not burden the horse. Even though he might be anxious, the young boy listened attentively and followed the coach's instructions to the best of his ability. Like, you feel like excited at all? Like, how excited you are? Like, how excited you are? And like what what did the course say and like what kind of techniques you gonna use? Yamur techniques. Yamur targets. 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 Yamur and even though he was just 11 years old, Bazan continued on horseback. After waiting for a while, the first horse began to appear on the testing track, followed by the others running in a line. But there was no sign of Bazan. We later learned that Bazan fell off the horse right before the start, due to the animal's sudden restlessness, preventing him from participating in this round. When we met Bazan again, the boy confirmed that he was fine though, not injured in any way and ready for the next race. It seems that the warrior spirit flows in the veins of this 11-year-old boy. Despite being a child or in pain, he never stops riding. The atmosphere today cannot be described as competitive because there's no striving for victory. No one is an opponent, but rather a comrade. There are only smiles, laughter and friendship on the backs of the horses. In fact, this is a gathering to celebrate the arrival of the bright summer season, when Mongolians showcase their riding skills. It's a chance to release the warrior spirit on horseback and enjoy the best weather of the year. The most important thing is to gallop freely across the vast fields on animals which are companions and a part of every Mongolian's life. What if he, he was told to stop riding horse one day? How would he feel? What would he do? Zadochod with a Titsman, Hotin, Saltata, Diarsley Nigmed, Mongol Zadochod in Unsnicker, O Saiti Sport, in Unsnicks and Sahim not and Garot Sahim, Cage of Jabot, Basby, didn't elude by his nature, not check the Alton Zadochod, show Alton Zadochod, show and get Unsnicker Sport to Sahim, Ding Jade and get Oop Takes what I have that Tareho with the Zadon Shalawa to Zul Himmel, show Sam Bandit. It's not surprising that young Mongolian children learn to ride horses as they are learning to walk. Riding horses is very common in Mongolia, and horse racing is just as commonplace. The question remains, however, over the accidents, injuries and even deaths that occur during horse races. The main issue arises from the jockey's ages. This raises questions about child rights violations. In the Convention on the Rights of the Child, an international agreement, one of the provisions states that children must be protected from all forms of physical or mental violence, injury or abuse. The lives of Mongolians are closely intertwined with horses. 
Nowadays, horse riding and racing continue to be part of the Mongolian way of life, as it has been for generations. It is more than just a sport or a competition. It is a way of life and involves a spiritual connection. Measures to increase the minimum age of participants and ensure greater safety will be implemented and will protect the children. Whether this change will impact Mongolian traditions and way of life remains an open question for those involved. Whatever the answer, it must ensure that the spirit of the rider on the horse's back is passed on, alongside safeguarding the rights of children.